what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in this video um again man just day in the life day in the life if you're coming across my youtube channel for the first time subscribe smash the bell for notifications if you're into social media marketing aka and or making money online like that's what i've been dropping since 2016 right building an agency um getting into facebook ads and really diving in and, and, and trying to freaking learn it right um which has been not an overnight thing. It's been, it's been, it's been since 2016, right? Jumping in, servicing clients. It all started then social media marketing, Facebook ads, and the damn thing continues to evolve. But that's what you do, man. That's what you do as an entrepreneur. That's what you do as a, as, as, as a mother, as a husband, as a freaking father. That's what we do as people. We evolve and we get better. And if you don't, you get crushed. Bottom line. So this is just another day in the life, man. Rolling with the punches, um, doing these little tweaks to 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 um, to comply with the Apple iOS um, and Facebook update, right? This is just basic stuff. I'm just day in the life, documenting, documenting what I'm doing, right? I gotta I gotta simply update my my domain, um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. But day in the life, just stuff that I'm already doing um, is what I've been documenting since 2016. So if you're into this type of stuff, man, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications. Um, it's really just day in the life of what I do for my my own business, um, digital products, and for clients and for their business, right? Been servicing social media, servicing really real estate agents um, with social media marketing and Facebook advertising since 2016. But since I evolved and, and again, continued to learn, the shit I've been teaching real estate agents is all the same stuff for every business. Like every business, every small business um, um, needs this type of basic understanding of, of marketing, right? Bringing your business on social media, bringing your business onto paid advertisement platforms like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, little random things that, that you can learn and, and know how to do so you could freaking go out there and crush it and do it, right? Um, again, man, either crush it or get crushed. That's, that's the bottom line. So Again, day in the life, if you're into this type of stuff, man, building a business, um, Facebook advertising, landing pages, online software for email automation, all the above, man. Um, that's what I do daily, right? Day in the life. So right here, man, I started up a new account. I needed a new um, business manager for this other project that, I, that I've been working on. Um, what I've been doing, man, since 2016 is really just is, is really servicing, again, clients, small business owners, social media marketing, Facebook advertising. Once you master what the not master, I hate to use that word, but once you really learn what the market needs, again, this is I'm speaking to you entrepreneurs, I'm, I'm speaking to you freelancers, I'm speaking to you social media marketing agencies, whatever the hell you want to call yourself. I'm speaking to you business owner. Like if you're a business owner, it's like you have to you have to you have to be you have to be on on social media obviously you have to be evolving you have to be rolling with the punches and you have to be on paid traffic you have to be running traffic man that's just the bottom line you have to be running paid traffic traffic so it's all about traffic man but but again what i've been working on man for for the past let's just call it year and a half dude two years as you perfect and and somewhat master the knowing of what your client needs. I'm speaking to you entrepreneurs and you freelancers and you business owners, right? Once you understand what the market needs, what your ideal client needs, their 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 desires, their freaking fears, their 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 likes, their loves, like once you know your exact client avatar is what we call it, right? That's when you're a business owner and you got a certain product or service to sell and you know exactly how to hit that client. You know exactly how to hit that market. You know exactly how to bring value and and, and provide a, a, a superior service to a specific type of person. It's an avatar, right? Once you, once you service, here's where we're headed, man. Here's where we're at today, 2021 and beyond. Digital digital products, your your knowledge. We are now in the in in the knowledge society where people are monetizing their knowledge, and they should be right. We're we're a, a world full of freaking information, full of freaking knowledge, full of 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 just brains, right? Like we all know some shit, right? And and I'm not talking about smarts. I'm not saying we're all smart. We all know freaking trigonometry and we all freaking hit 1400s on our SATs. No, dude, I'm not saying we're all smart in a way. I'm saying we all have knowledge. We all know something about something. And, and where we're at today is, is, is the knowledge society where people, us as consumers are learning that way. Look, dude, you guys are freaking learning from a YouTube video. Like if you're not proof of being the actual consumer of this content that I'm referring to, which is video marketing, YouTube marketing, how we're, how we're now consuming information type of marketing. It's like, dude, we're all learning online. So you're either the consumer or the content creator, 
right? Or the educator, right? The educator slash content creator, or you're the consumer. And, and I'm both. I'm both. I learn from all you guys, right? I'm, I'm learning from everyone on YouTube, right? I'm learning, again, what I want to learn. And, and that's how simple and how accessible we have gotten. Like, that's, that's the information is so accessible. It's ridiculous. So, so what I've been working on, man, is, is, is just really, again, knowing what my market needed and knowing the value that I provided and then, and then turning that knowledge into a digital asset, turning it into a digital course, which I can then run Facebook ads to and scale to the moon and get people to buy my training and buy my knowledge and buy my information without me talking to anyone. That's my grind. That's what I've been doing for the past year or so is, is recording videos, putting modules together, um, 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 getting coaching clients taking people one through one by one and, 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 and teaching them this stuff as I'm learning myself. Right. Cause we're always learning. We are always evolving. And, 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 and so that's what I've been on, man, is, 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 is selling my knowledge and, and, and documenting that, right. Documenting that and how I'm doing it for clients and showing how you guys can do it all for yourself too. So in this case, all I have to do is that's the project that I got going on this new project here, right. Oh, well, actually new account, new business manager. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into it. If you're, if you haven't set up a business manager, you need to. You have your personal Facebook ad account, right? And then you have that tied to an ads manager, right? But to take it up a few notches, you want to go and set up a business manager, okay? A business manager is really for those that are really going to take this seriously. Facebook ads, you're looking to really jump in. Instagram ads, you're looking to really jump in, right? Um, because in here, you're going to want to give up your business information. You're going to want to fill out all the information and, 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 and stay compliant. And just with a business manager, you get more 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 access to customer support and then also you get more metrics you get more ability to hire people if if you need to delegate this out to a marketer you can give them access to a, an account all through the business manager if you're a freelancer and now you want to go offer services to businesses and and go be an agency or or some type of you know digital marketing service where you're providing facebook advertising or instagram advertising then then you would need to set this up as well cuz you're going and you're going to want to know how to, how to have your client set it up cuz they're going to need to set it up for you to get access to their account all through the business manager so this is where it starts man set this up first if you guys haven't already okay so as you can see here this inspired digital that's the one that i'm going to that i'm going to walk you guys through right now so all i did is i i clicked i clicked on i clicked on this right and then it brought me here it brought me here to the business settings this is where you want to be as well and you want to bookmark you want to have a little bookmark here at the top i mean folder i should say you want to have a little a little um um um, folder and name this one your business manager. Name this one your business manager folder or just business manager. And then and then and then one bookmark inside that business manager folder would be this. This would be um, actually what what I would do is I would I would probably I would probably save it from here. So from right here, from right here, I would just bookmark it and I would call this one uh, uh, business settings right here. So I would start at people. Okay, start right here at people and just bookmark it. Put this in that folder. This is business settings. Now, what I'm going to show you here today is, is one absolute requirement for Apple iOS for this whole new update. Um, you absolutely, absolutely, absolutely have to register and verify your domain. Okay, that's first and foremost. Before we used to be able to run an ad, look, let me just show you. Before we used to be able to run an ad, um, and when that person clicks on that ad and goes to that website, that website, which would be your landing page or some of you rookies out there are still running ads to full-blown websites, right? Whatever it may be, a full-blown website, homepage, or a landing page, whatever. As we scroll through the news feed, I'm going to show you right now. Shout out to my boy. Look at this. Look at this freaking uh, throwback right here. This was, two, this was five years ago today. Five years ago, my boy's 13 now. So he was eight and we were at service just getting it in getting it in you got to train i've been this is this has been my little protege man my little freaking protege i've been i've been just shaping and molding like a freaking piece of clay right just molding his ass into being a great a great young man and thank god i you know that's a whole nother story but um that was sh him shout out to him um as i scroll down let's look at an ad sponsored right if i click on learn more and i come straight over here this domain before it never had to be yours before you can send them to a ClickFunnels page, um, a, a Kartra page, a Kajabi page, a MailChimp page, whatever. Before you used to be able to just, as long as that's your link, obviously, right? You'd have a ClickFunnels page or whatever, or, or a KV Core page, whatever, right? Um, yeah, the link is customized to you, but you don't own that link. You don't own that domain, right? 
Before we used to be able to do that. Now you absolutely have to verify. Now this domain has to be yours. Okay. So if I'm seeing your Facebook ad, if I'm seeing your ad and I'm clicking learn more and I'm coming over to here, this needs to be your link. Okay. That's the biggest update. That's, that's, that's one of the biggest updates. One of the biggest updates. One of the biggest updates with this whole Apple iOS is that is the fact that that link, that domain needs to be customized and it needs to be yours owned by you through GoDaddy or through Namecheap or whatever, whatever domain register. But that's the whole point. Okay. So that's the whole point of this video. So if you didn't get anything else of this freaking jaw jack and crap that I'm throwing in the first few minutes, get that. Okay. Get that. The fact that this has to be your link. And that's what I'm going to show you right now, how to, how to, how to, how to integrate it. Okay. And again, before you didn't have to do this, now you absolutely have to do this. And, and it's simple, dude. It's simple. This is freaking basic. So this link again. Now, now again, before you used to be able to send that to any link of yours, as long as it was tied to you and that's your money page or whatever, but it would say something like clickfunnels.com forward slash David or, or, or carter.com forward slash David or lead, right. It'd be, it, it's your link, but it's not your freaking domain. You don't own the damn thing. Right. So that's the biggest, the biggest change. So here's what you want to do. If you don't have a domain already, you can easily come over to Google, go to actually go to Google and in the search, I want you to search. It's in the search. In fact, let me just do it from incognito. So if I go to, if I go to google.com in the search, cheap domains, Okay, that's what I want. I want cheap domains. And I'm looking for this right here. I can either go 99 cents through Namecheap or I can go, it's either 2.99 or you guys may see 99 cents on your end, but but preferably GoDaddy. I've been with GoDaddy forever and a day. I have a million domains through GoDaddy, but but I know Namecheap is right there as well. Big, big and popular, you know, no, name name brand one, Namecheap. So whatever, 99 cents here, 2.99 or 99 cents here. I think a lot of you guys would see 99 cents GoDaddy. If you do see 99 cents GoDaddy, go with GoDaddy. Go with that. That's just my, I guess that's just super biased, but whatever. Um, only because I, 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 I know them, you know, pretty well, but, um, that's what you want to do first. That's what you want to do first. That's what you absolutely have to do. You absolutely have to go and freaking get a domain. Okay. So now that that part's cleared, let's go to, I click on here. I come over here. This is the business settings, right? We saved it. We just bookmarked it from the people. Um, this is a whole nother video. I have many videos. In fact, I'll tie it to the end of this one is the business manager side where I take it through a full blown setup of all this stuff. But in this video, again, this is just basic and I'll take you on a, on a brief little series over the next few videos. So depending on when you're watching this, watch the next video day after, and then watch the, the next one a day after, because again, all I'm doing is documenting. This is just day in the life. I do this for clients, but then I also do it for myself and I'm showing you all myself type of shit, right? So um, so because this is a new account that I'm setting up and I'm going to be running my, my digital course through, um, I might as well just show you guys every little step of the way, right? So this is basic, 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 super basic step one, get your freaking domain. Okay. So once you get that domain, here's what you're going to do. You're going to come down to brand safety. You're going to click on domains and we're going to add it right here. Okay. Now you're, you may obviously not see one right there. I already have one, which is mine. Right. And then, and then now I'm going to add, I'm going to add this other one. So, um, And all I'm going to do is simply, you don't need the www. So if you're putting the www, that's why you probably can't, you know, continue. Just the URL, okay? Just the URL. So there's my URL right there. I'm going to click add domain. And then, and then, and then if you see this right away, great. If you don't see this right away, refresh your page. That's all you got to do, okay? You're either going to see this right here where you see the green button verify, or you're going to see a blank. It's going to be blank, right? And then just refresh it, just refresh it. And then it'll bring you, it'll bring you here. Okay. So here's all I got to do. I got to copy that. So number two, we're going to go and create a text record. Okay. And I'm going to copy this right here. This is what they're telling me. And then add the at sign in the host field. Okay. So now I'm going to go to GoDaddy. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on my domain. There's my domain. And then it's going to bring me over here where I can click on manage DNS. I'm looking to manage DNS. That's what I need. I need to manage DNS. And that's going to bring me over here to the DNS settings. Okay. So you'll see the DNS settings over here. All you're going to do, man, is click on add. You're going to add a completely new file. And it's a, it's right here in the drop down. So it's a TXT. Okay. It said the at sign, the at sign, where did it go? Oh, damn. The, let's do that again. The freaking at sign is right in the host. So that's what it says over here. So it says number three, add the at sign in the host field. Okay, cool. So we got that. There's the, the at sign. And then we're going to simply paste in our value, click on save, leave it at one hour. That's fine. And now you have that new TXT record. So all I'm going to do here now, 
I've already done this not a million times, but let's just say a thousand times and just a lot in the last few days with clients. Um, and so I'm going to click verify. And if it, and if you see an error, verify again, let's see. Boom, right away. First click. Normally you have to click five, six, seven times, like right away, right away. Click, 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 click. So if you guys have to do that, then, you know, keep clicking, but shit, fa see Facebook is currently updating, man. They're updating, you know, depending on when you're watching this right now, but, but March, you know, 2021, that whole new Apple iOS update and, and, and cock blocking of, of, of good old freaking the Apple crew, you know, really making Facebook having you know, a work overtime and, and now implement a few other settings that just weren't required. So again, this is, and this is freaking booyah, green, verified, we're good. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, click on done. And then I'm going to refresh this page. I'm going to refresh it. Always make sure you refresh it. Okay. So you refresh it. That red dot should now go green. And now we can use this domain for um for our ads so now i'm going to run an ad someone's going to click people are going to click on learn more they're going to go to my landing page and that link is my link okay that's my custom domain and again uh, it's not that i have yeah so it's like whatever link it is that's your link you you own that link right you integrated it we just integrated it right now um and then freaking, and then, and then as you run ads, yeah, it can, it can then forward to a click funnels. It can then forward to your Kartra page or your lead pages or your, your conversion page. As long as you own the domain, that's all it's about, man. It's owning the freaking domain, forward it to wherever the hell you want to forward it to. Okay. Um, that's all that matters is that that's your domain. And that's what shows when someone clicks. Okay. Um, very, very important. So that's how you do that. That's the basic a Apple iOS update. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm still in domain. So I'm going to say, come over here, click on add assets. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie that um, um, domain. I'm going to integrate it and I'm going to sync it and I'm going to tie it to a specific page. Okay. Um, so here's my page right here, David Cantero. That's the one that um, I'm going to tie it to. And there's that. So um, now that domain, Facebook knows that it's, that it's connected with um, that specific page. So if I refresh this, and then I click, I click on connected assets. That's what you want to do, man. You want to do that for sure. And again, I have, I'll, I'll watch the video at the end because the one that comes up at the end, see, so now it's tied to this page and we are good. Um, so there's no other assets that I need to add. Um, we're good. We're good with just adding that. So that's how you do it. You guys make sure, you, and you can add as many as you want, man. You can add as many as you want, but, but make sure you watch this video at the end, because I'm going to tie a, a, a more thorough breakdown of the whole setup of this part. Like every freaking, every tab over here, the ad accounts, like all this shit over here, I walk you through how to set it all up. Okay. So the pixels, freaking all that shit, all of that dude is, is, is mandatory. The business info coming down here and clicking on business info and filling out all that information. This is the new update. Okay. It's just, it's just filling in the blanks and, 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 and keeping it simple and just complying. And so that right there is what you guys want to do. Um, stay tuned to the next day because, because after, yeah, day after day, to, I'm dropping videos every day, man. So again, if you made it this far, freaking subscribe. If you're not subscribing, give me a damn thumbs up, like the damn thing. If you got any value at it, out of it. Okay. Don't subscribe. Give me a freaking like or give me give me a like. That's all I'm, I'm not even going to ask you to comment. Like, give me a freaking like if you got value out of this damn video. All right. So, again, just day in the life. Check these videos over the next day, today, 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 because every day I'm dropping this type of, 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 of knowledge, you guys. And, and again, just day in the life, man. Shit I'm already doing for me or for clients that I'm servicing. But really, if you're catching this video right now, it's really for me. Like, I got different products and I'm digital products that I host on Kartra. Kartra is the platform that runs my landing pages, my email automation, my online calendar. It's a host for my videos other than YouTube. It's a host for my online membership course. It's how I sell my digital products all in one freaking software. And that's Kartra. So there's a 14 day trial in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Um, I host Q and A coaching calls, private group coaching calls every Monday and Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific for any of you guys that are activating a 14 day trial. So, so click on the link profit with online. If you're trying to build anything online, I always tell people, I'm like, dude, compare this to the other seven softwares that you're paying for every month. You're paying one fee for your landing pages. You're paying another fee for your email automation. You're paying another fee for your online calendar. You're paying another fee to host your online membership course. You're paying another fee for a shopping cart, right? To be able to charge a client online. Like, like, 
you're paying all these different services, dude. I do everything in Kartra. So check that out if you haven't already, man. And again, just stay, stay plugged in. You guys subscribe, click like, and drop me a comment. Drop me a comment. Let me know where you guys are coming from. And let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right. I'll see you on the next video. Over now.